guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been taking me forever to put out videos. Um, I'm going through uh, some military training right now and that's been taking a lot of my time and I accidentally deleted some videos which is very unfortunate but I'm going to re-record them so that means I'm going to be doing the job twice. But today I'm going to be showing you how to install an O2 sensor associated with the ECF-1 uh, uh, innovate gauge uh, associated with the air fuel ratio, how to calibrate it, and uh, maze tuning is going to be tuning my vehicle. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and follow. So, one of the gauges that I am installing is going to be the Innovate. Uh, this is a dual function uh, boost vacuum and uh, it does a shift light, but I'm not going to do that because my STI already has a shift light put into the dash that you can. Um, the adjust. other gauge that I'm going to be taking out of my uh, my legacy and I'm going to be putting it into the STI. Uh, the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to be running a different um, gauge in here. Alright, since I have all the charge pipes off and um, I have some some space right here, I'm actually going to uh, split this and tee that into the boost gauge that I have that's sitting right here. And uh, get that all squared away and push that through the I'm firewall. I'm teeing off of this line that goes to the 50-50 um, blow off valve here. So uh, the map sensor I'm going to be leaving out in the engine bay to run to it. This is the Innovate uh, 4 bar map sensor. I'm going to leave it right in the engine bay and have this line hooked up to it. Alright so I have the boost reference right here and it's running underneath following the AC line all the way to the top and then headed towards right here. I have the zip tied off. I have the O2 sensor right here, right there. And it's gonna be connected to right there. So this is gonna be nice. I already have it routed through the firewall. It took me a little bit. Um, I did not have to take the air oil separator off but it looks good. All right guys, I just got done running the wires for the boost gauge and the AFR. I had it running from here, went onto the side along here and underneath all the way through, underneath the steering column and run it all the way up, connected to the fuse box right here that's underneath and then uh, grounded, power it and then sent it up to this guy. up guys um, so these are the gauges that I have installed I'm going to advanced auto to get the O2 sensor for this and uh, I'm taking you guys along for the ride all right I just picked up this from advanced auto it's a Bosch five wire O2 sensor let me unbox it for you guys sorry about that here it is very nice. I'm gonna be going on the downpipe, putting it right there, and then connecting it to the wiring right there, right above the transmission. So I'm gonna be using this as crow's feet, crow's foot rather, and taking off that bung down there and having a ratchet to go with it. All right, now that I got it off, I'm gonna be putting this O2 sensor in place of it. I need to calibrate this O2 sensor to the Innovate uh, ECF-1 gauge. So what that consists of is disconnecting the sensor um, and then letting the gauge run for 30 seconds until it reads O2 error. 
So let's do that real quick. Also, you need to disconnect the O2 sensor to have free air so it not be connected to the exhaust. All right, now that I have the O2 sensor disconnected, I'm leaving it hanging right here because it's a little warm. Let's, uh, let's go check on the gauge. All right, now I'm back in the car. Have that turn on. It's gonna read O2 air, O2 E2. That's the air we're looking for. Let that run for 30 seconds. All right, now after 30 seconds, we're gonna power down. Now I'm gonna take the O2 sensor and plug it back in to the connector. And then I'm gonna power it on, leave it outside of the vehicle, outside of the exhaust system for 60 seconds as it's calibrating. Once that's done, put it back into the exhaust system and everything's calibrated. This is gonna stay calibrated as long as I keep this sensor plugged in. Uh, once I disconnect it, I'm gonna have to go through the recalibrating all over again. All right, it's plugged back in. The O2 sensor is just chilling out and we're gonna turn the power on. I'm gonna let this thing sit for 60 seconds and it'll show calibrating. It's gonna heat up about 30 seconds. All right, I was waiting 30 seconds and it calibrated really quickly so I hope I caught that. And then now I'm gonna put it back into the, the exhaust. All right, just plug back in. Hopefully everything is all scored away. It's gonna take a little bit to heat up and then it's gonna, it's gonna read within 30 seconds. There she goes, she's looking a lot better. That, that looks like it's reading a little bit better than it was before. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it was crazy. Cause I mean, she idles fine. All right, perfect. And that's how you calibrate and install O2 sensor with the Innovate wideband um, gauge here.